Well, we got a bunch of uh, names to talk about in terms of uh, Japanese women's wrestling. We do. And maybe not Japanese we, women's wrestling. Okay, okay, so, What's so, up so, with so, Julia? This is, Julia so this is the Julia story. Okay. She's under, she's under contract until March. She also has a, like, like, and she can go, so, so up until March, nothing's happening, okay? I know Mike Johnson, Mike Johnson was correct in reporting that there's interest. Now, there's been interest in her since 2019. So it is more, it is a story now because there is more interest in her now. Um, but she's not going anywhere until March. And I mean, it's like Julia and Will Ospreay, both, um, you know, and, 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 the thing with Julia is, is like, you know, Julia, Julia was born in England, but she does not know English, which will be a handicap in the United States in, in both. Now, she could learn it, of course, and she knows other, you know, multi-language. She's got, she knows a couple of languages, but English not being one of them. I mean, he, I think she knows some words and things like that, but she's not fluent in English. But um, she is, she's got the look. The thing with her, I mean, the look is, the look, she's got a very unique look. And, you know, whenever I watch stardom, um, you know, Mariah May's got the look too, but but Julia's the one, she has that aura of a superstar that m maybe more or as much as any woman in the business, you know, like a Rhea Ripley or a Becky Lynch, you know, just you see them and they, they have that special aura and she's got that. Um, her ring style is very much about uh, very crazy, dangerous bumps and very hard hitting. It is not. Um, I mean, it's it's in, you know again like one of the guys who you know got all that fanfare. We went to WWE and ultimately was not a success was Kenta, and one of the reasons was that Kenta knew when he went to when he went there that he could not hit as hard because they don't do that there. You know, so um, you know he started you know he was all country i don't want to hurt anybody i don't want to you know it's not you know what i mean i've got to learn to adapt to their style and in doing so his strengths were gone and so he didn't really do that well there julia is the same thing i mean she does really hard hitting in a way that they don't do there so she's going to have to adapt her style and it's not going to you know it's like she may not be as impressive in the ring when that because that's a big part of her game it's not to say she's not going to make it um she does have the look she does she will have to learn english or they won't push her past a certain level i mean that's just the way it is um but it's there's no guarantee that she's going anywhere um you know i mean look aw um i mean if i was aw i would i would go you know i would i would make her um, it's, it's again the lack of English hurts to a degree, but she's got the other part of the game. And also with AEW, I don't think that the um, you know like the, the, I don't think the style is going to hurt her in AEW, or she'll have that mentality. I've got it. I've got to lighten up. You know, I think with AEW, she, you know, I don't know how it will work with everyone, but I but um, I mean it's 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 not it's it's she's she may be more conducive to AEW. Um, there's part of me that thinks, you know, Tony should really go after her. I mean, when you see, every time I see her, it's like, man, you know, like, whatever it is, both WWE or AEW should go after her. But she may not want to leave Japan. Um, the, the part about her going to the Performance Center, I've had people deny that. I mean, I mean, we'll find out. But I was told that she's, I mean, she's, her schedule is booked for the rest of the year. Um, she is coming to the United States in January for the show in San Jose. But she's under contract, and, you know, it would, unless Bushy Road gives the okay, and I don't know why they would, she wouldn't really be allowed to do a WWE tryout right now. So I don't know that that one's happening. I asked at WWE, and they also told me the same thing. They told me that was not happening, but they're very interested in her. Um, you know, come March, you know, I mean, again, she's in a good position. Um, she should be able to get good offers from Japan. She should be able to get good offers. She's gonna. There's gonna be at least four places, I think that that should give her very good offers, and um, you know, whichever one gives her the best offer, she should go. I don't think it's a given uh, of anything. I mean, again, like she's been on their radar radar for 2019, and she didn't go. But you know, this could be the time if they offer her enough, um, and she wants to leave the country. 
you know, she wants to leave Japan. That's where she's been living. Um, you know, a lot of people don't want to do that. Some people do, you know. Um, so it's like it's not nothing's a given that she's going. Like I said, she ain't going anywhere until March. And she does have a verbal commitment afterwards. But it's only a verbal commitment. So and that's that's for Japan. So we'll have to see. And like with Will, it's the same thing. Will is, you know, I mean, it's, it's just going to be, you know, I mean, A.W., I mean, I, 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 A.W. put him over Omega, and they put him over Jericho on big shows this year. Um, I can't imagine them not giving him a big offer. Um, and, again, it's a place where he can do the kind of matches he wants. Now, as far as WWE goes, they can offer a lot. I mean, they can offer a lot. If they really want him and they tell him, you know, we're going to make you world champion, and you know what world champions make there. Um, well, I mean... I shouldn't say that because in, in, in WWE now, it's not it's not like it used to be. In WWE, it's like you're offered a dollar figure, that's what you're going to make. If they offer you $3 million, you're making $3 million. If they offer you $1.5, they can make you world champion, you're making $1.5, unless they tear up the contract, which, you know, they have not been Well, you'll have your merchandise money on top of that. Well, some people don't. It's, it's at the, you know, most, most people, that's what they make. You get nothing extra if you sell the most shirts. Well, if you sell, the company. If, if you sell, if 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 you sell tons of merchandise, but, but most people, yes. the way it's worked into the contract, you have to sell a ton of merchandise, or you're, you know, you're going to end up with what you, what you. I mean, you're not going to get less than what you get, but it's got to be a very high merch thing. Yeah, you could get more in merch, uh, but I mean, like with with both of them, I mean, the reality is, is that, uh, um, you know, they could go anywhere they want. And I think that, uh, like, the thing that they should both do um, is obviously the two things are the money and the fun. Um, and only they can determine what they want out of life. And money is money. And, uh, you know, um, I mean, with Will, it's 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 probably going to be AEW or WWE. Um, and then it just comes down to who offers the most money. Um, the AEW schedule is better for him, but WWE could offer him um a light schedule if they want him bad enough you know what i mean you can you can um he can dictate terms because the reality is is that they're both going to really want him so um you know dictating terms in wwe could have a negative effect if they go in there and everyone finds out he's got a contract where he's only going to work 50 dates a year um but with aw i mean like look at what you know, I mean, Omega and Jericho and all these guys. I mean, but up and down, Takeshita, whatever the name is, you know, you're talking like 30 matches a year, which for his body at this stage is is good, you know? I mean, I don't think that for him at this stage, you know, he wants to be doing 100 matches a year. Um, so, but he, like I said, he could go in there with WWE. Roman Reigns works less matches than all those guys. Um, you know, you, it's... Just a matter of negotiating. He's got Barry Bloom with him, and uh, I just I just expect that there's no bad answer for him. I think he's going to be a superstar no matter where he goes, and he's going to make a lot of money next year. Um, I'm just not sure where it will be. And she should make a lot of money too because she's very marketable. Um, and uh, but yeah, it's not um, you know the idea that like oh my God she's going to WWE. It's so premature to say that, but. Could it happen in March? Absolutely, it could happen in March, yes. Tam Nakano. Yeah, so um, it is official that she's off of the um, November 18th pay-per-view where she was going to wrestle Suzu Suzuki for the championship, and they are not stripping her of the title. Um, normally, they would. I think the idea is, is that they're hoping that her knee injury heals enough that she will be able to do th that match on December 2nd. If not then, you know, they may they may strip her at that point. I mean, they'll have to make a decision if she's not ready by December 2nd. Um, but, um, you know, they're really, stardom is really racked with injuries. I mean, it's like, like uh, this tag team tournament is just like, the, the, you know, just so many top stars are out right now. And Sarai. Yeah, so they, she, she's, she's signed with, uh, what's it, Sukiban, that promotion that, um, you know, as they're around, they're running a show in December in Miami. We're in November. We don't know um, the date. We don't know much about the promotion. Um, they were going to have this uh, 
I mean, they do have a new concept, but it's not anything that anyone's talked about. I know that, like, the people involved there with that promotion told me, like, when it started, it's like, you know, it's not like we're, we're not really looking for traditional wrestling fans. We're looking at, at, at getting people who are not traditional wrestling fans. And it's like, okay, how do you do that? And, um, I mean, I didn't hear any buzz from the first show. Um, you know, I mean, obviously it wasn't going to happen in one show, but, uh, you know, that you've got to expose yourself. I don't know how you do a wrestling promotion. And, um, I mean, CMLL does it, but it's a completely They've been around since 1933. Yeah, but that's, but I mean the thing with track record here. The, well, well, it's the thing with CMLL is that, you know, it's it's one of those things where you go to Mexico City and you go there Friday night. You know, it's not like the Tuesday night or the Sunday night shows are drawing all these tourists. It's like you go to Mexico City and the you know one of the things to do on Friday nights is go to Arena Mexico and see this style of wrestling and it's 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 a great product. If you are not a wrestling fan, it is a great entertaining night out. You go out, you drink, and you watch CMLL. But um, I don't know how, other than, you know, um, some tourist thing. You know, and, and AAA tried the same thing in, in um, Cancun, and it hasn't worked out. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know how you do a wrestling promotion with the idea of, of drawing non-wrestling fans i just don't know i don't know how that works so but that's that that's their goal because i don't know like you know how do you get the and plus how are you gonna do that with no tv so um but we'll see but anyway so she signed with them the stuff about her in wwe um pretty overblown i mean she um you know i mean from 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 talking to people in wwe it was like mm, you know, they they were not really talking about her. She, you know, she wanted out. Um, uh, hey, look, they didn't do nothing with her. She sat there for the last six months of her contract and never did a thing. It's not like, you know, I mean, it's like whatever. They, they, they didn't see it in her. They gave her a really bad gimmick. Um, why would you want to go back? So um, anyway, that's the situation with her. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.